Johnny Silverhand's outfit is by far one of the coolest and most sought after in cyberpunk. The problem is that there isn't actually a decent guide on YouTube that shows you how to get it without boring you to tears or distracting you with a two minute long sponsored segment. So, no faffing around, let's find every single piece of this thing. Starting off with Johnny's pants, one of two outfit pieces that are not found during the main quest. After completing the first act, complete as many gigs for Patre as possible until you come across one called Psycho Fan. You'll be tasked with infiltrating this ridiculously tall building and stealing a priceless guitar. Head to the roof, jump down onto the balcony and have a snoop around. There's a bunch of cool references to Johnny's band Samurai that he'll comment on as you explore, but then as you head into the bedroom you'll find a suitcase on the floor containing the first piece of Johnny's outfit and they look obnoxiously shiny. Head over to the intercom thing, punch in the number 2065, grab the goodies, complete the quest and we're off to find Johnny's boots. Next up you're going to be heading to Westbrook in Charter Hill to complete the gig family heirloom. This one is very straightforward, sneak into the building, avoid all the bad guys and recover a car. I didn't get the memo and instead I jumped in heads first, guns blazing and finished within a minute. It was like a losing my virginity all over again. Before recovering the vehicle and completing the quest, head over to this safe and grab the second piece of Johnny's outfit, the swanky boots. Then get ready for a roller coaster of emotions as we play through the cyberpunk story. Johnny's tank top is next on our shopping list and this is kind of a weird one to get. See, you need to complete the mission Tapeworm, which can actually start after completing one of four quests in the game. Automatic love, transmission, life during wartime, and so and destroy. Mine was the latter, which was absolutely fine with me because I got to play through one of my favorite missions in Cyberpunk all over again. This whole festival area is just so pretty and the older fight is badass. After Takamura's hideout gets raided in search of Hanako, the relic will knock you out and the mission tapeworm will begin, giving you a chance to share some cute moments with Silverhand and helping him organize his kitchen cupboards. As soon as this mission is over, you will automatically be rewarded with the tank top. Next up is the mission Chipping In, which will reward you with multiple things from Johnny's past. This is actually the final mission you're going to have to complete, but there are four objectives here. To start, let Johnny take control of your body, not in a weird way, I mean you could do that if you want to, but anyway, he claims that he wants to catch up with his old lover, Rogue. He'll then proceed to change the meaning of a let's play, seducing and banging everything with a pulse for the next few hours. Nonetheless, you'll get Johnny's aviators during this cutscene with a wonderful young lady with a bright future ahead of her and get access to them immediately afterwards. Next, in the same mission, just a little bit later on, you'll team up with Rogue, completely forgetting to tell her you seduced half of Night City en route. As you exit the afterlife, she'll present you with a replica of Johnny's jacket. You didn't deserve the original. Sorry, bro. Two pieces left. Continue through the mission, sneaking past the guards and... Oh, I'm so bad with this whole stealth thing. Get on board Adam Smash's ship, the Ebony K, finish off the remaining guards and confront this chap here. You will immediately be able to take his weapon and uh, turns out this guy was shooting at you with Johnny's pistol, the Malorian Arms 356. I'm British, we don't know anything about guns, okay, but this thing is pretty. Also, is that a weird texture issue that I'm experiencing on the grip? Like, I don't think that's meant to look like that. <laughs> Finally, if you interrogate this guy for long enough, you'll be given the option to spare him and get a reward or finish him off, losing the final piece of your puzzle. I chose to take the reward and then finish him off. Jump onto this little structure, lower the container, and collect the final piece of Johnny's arsenal. Not the football team, instead you will get a Porsche 911. No, not the turbo variant either, I've made a whole nother video on that, it's better in like every single way, but this is a classic. Hop in and then prepare to drive off into the sunset, sharing a beautiful moment with Silverhand shortly afterwards. Oh, and if you're trying to unlock the secret ending, here are the dialogue options, assuming you've already got over 70% in your relationship with Johnny. The first step is to inscribe Johnny's initials with the dialogue prompt, let's do something about that. The second prompt is the guy who saved my life, followed by nah, fuck that up too. The fourth is what do you want from me? The fifth is okay, but as second chances go, this is your last. The sixth, you were a real dick in the beginning. Seventh, when you said you let down your friends. Eighth, smash a biz really got to her. And ninth, yeah, I'll call Rogue. 
Then, when you reach the end of the game, I'm not going to go into deep spoilers, but you're going to be presented with a bit of a conundrum, and you're going to make a decision on how you're going to enter the final act of the game. If you want more specifics, feel free to watch my live stream where I played through the whole thing and I did this exact ending, but when you're presented with that conundrum, just sit and wait for five minutes. Johnny will then come up with a new idea, and that is the secret ending to Cyberpunk 2077. Oh, and fun fact, when this mission ended before the 2.0 update, I think it was, you used to be able to get a version of Johnny Silverhand's arm. It was never meant to be in the game, so they patched it out, but there are a couple of references to it throughout Cyberpunk, such as this developer room that I made a video on ages ago. You can kind of go there, pop in a code, and see all the developers. I just thought it was a really fun Easter egg back in the day, and only the OGs will really remember and appreciate this one. It's kind of a cool feature, and I wish they had kept it in. But anyway, thank you so much for watching today's video. If you want to see more cyberpunk videos, be sure to check out the channel, subscribe for more videos just like this, and drop a like in the video if you liked it. I love your faces, and I'll catch you in the next one.